In examples, did you notice that map returned another RDD quickly while take took some time and actually did something? The reason is a transformation such as map does not get executed instantaneously. Instead, Spark makes a note of it in the form of RDD graph or RDD lineage. As soon as a method such as take or collect is called, the transformations are evaluated. This is not instantaneous, but lazy. An example of instantaneous evaluation is typing var x equals 2 plus 2. The value of x is immediately set to 4. It does not wait for print or any other method to be called for the evaluation to be completed. So, what are the advantages of lazy evaluations? To understand it, let's take an example of a waiter in the restaurant. Usually, when you go to a fine dining restaurant, a waiter attends to you patiently and takes all the orders from your table. A typical order would look like this. One cheeseburger, one soup, one plate noodles, one soup, one plate noodles. Then the waiter goes back to the kitchen with your orders and hands over the orders to the chef. The chef is able to optimize because of clubbing multiple orders together. After clubbing, the order would look like this. One cheeseburger, two soups, two plates of noodles. This is lazy evaluation. All of the orders from your table were taken before cooking started. Imagine what would have happened if the waiter was very prompt. You would ask for a cheeseburger. The waiter would just run to the kitchen saying, let me get you a cheeseburger. I will be right back. And you would be shouting, what about my soup? The soup order will be taken only once the waiter is back. So, as soon as someone places an order for an item, the waiter would run to the kitchen, get it prepared and serve it, and then takes another order for an item. This is non-lazy evaluation. This would lead to duplicate effort in soup and noodles, apart from efforts in going to kitchen again and again. In the similar way, the lazy evaluation helps spark, club and optimize multiple transformations together. The usual programming languages, including Scala, have instant evaluation. As you type where x equals 2 plus 10, it does not wait. It immediately evaluates the value of x to 12. Every time we call an action, the entire RDD is computed from scratch. In the following code, every time the step D, a count action, is executed, step A, B and C would run. When we call a transformation, it does not get evaluated immediately. It helps Spark optimize the performance. Lazy evaluation is being adopted in new data and computational resource intensive tools such as PIG, TensorFlow, etc. Instead of thinking RDD as dataset, think of it as the instruction on how to compute data. On the left, you can see the code has two consecutive map transformations and because of lazy evaluation, the Spark gets to club these two map transformations into one. This minimizes data transfer and duplicate computations. To support lazy evaluation, an RDD keeps information from which other RDD it needs to be computed and which transformation to apply. This information is stored in the form of graph. Every time we define a transformation, it keeps building this graph. In this example, we first create an RDD out of a text file which may be located on HDFS. The right side of the screen represents the Spark making notes of 
RDD details in the form of graph. The node in the graph represents the RDD while the edges represent the transformations. The filter transformation creates another node and so does map. And when we call uppercase lines dot count, which is an action, it would invoke the evaluation of all the RDDs on which uppercase lines RDD depends, which are lines and few lines. Also note that it does not evaluate lowercase lines because we have called an action on uppercase lines and uppercase lines does not depend on lowercase lines.